champions we got a brand new character to preview it is brock lesnar return of the beast now before we get started first of all sorry ahead because this is unlikely to be my best preview because i am currently in pretty bad shape <laughs> i'm having some issues with di my diabetes that's why you see the black glasses those are actually not shades if you look it up those are actually basically just plastic closed up uh, glasses with holes in them that's because i'm currently half blind and those help me focus my vision to a point so i can actually see a bit what i'm doing and uh yeah like my diabetes is true to roof i can barely stand up so i got uh i got a lot of people asking me for the preview they want to see my preview so i mean the show must go on so let's get to it so first move set we're gonna have a look at oh actually let me i'm already missing stuff <laughs> let's have a look at the card uh he is a tech we're having a look at five star gold uh, uh he is not mine he was sent to me for this preview purposes his coachability at 18k is take 30 percent less damage from red move so not that big of a deal uh, links with modern era and no gear so the first move set we'll have a look at is the triple green the alabama slam being the five star move so it's going to be the f5 10 mp green move finisher deals 161.2k damage choose 16 immobile gem to destroy and pin the opponent the kimura lock eight is that an eight i think it's an eight mp green move submission generate 44 random submission gems and do 126k damage for six turns while submission gems are on the gem board remaining sub gems turn into immobile gems and the Alabama Slam 5 MP green move deal 51.6k damage plus 16.2k bonus damage for every immobile gems. Now the trainer we're going to be using for that steel so that we start with more green. Uh, I'm using Austin Striker here so that the submission do 50% more damage. Uh, I think it's uh, Tech Angle that do 50% on green sub too. Uh, could have used uh, what's his name striker rock uh, so that your uh, immobile do 35 percent more damage i kind of wanted some extra on the submission as it was only adding 6k on the slam otherwise uh, could have used a bray trickster for extra turns on the sub although in this case i want the sub to last less turns because uh, it's all about having those immobile gems on the on the board. So we're going to be using Eddie so that immobiles do 50% more damage. Uh, he, do, he does create three more, but in this case, it's not going to do anything. And Ogun for the same, immobile is going to do 50% extra. Uh, could use Bruno for extra sub turn, extra sub damage. But again, for this spec, it's not going to be about the sub damage. There's plenty of other spec I can see working fine that we'll see later. If I can stay conscious long enough. <laughs> so uh, I do have a belt on with uh, Fury uh, medals on. All right, let's go versus Brett. Right. So we're not going to use the slam right away because obviously we don't have immobiles on the board. We're going to use the submission. I don't think the triple green is going to be the best for this, but uh, we're going to see how it works. Okay, so we do have a lot left. This is going to do 32k for each of them plus 53k. That did over a million. Unfortunately, we don't have green though. 
So we're gonna, well, next turn we're gonna have the finisher, but yeah, for now that's gonna be it. Can, what can I even break? Something's gonna be reds. All right, so we're gonna choose 16 to destroy. Obviously the greens are gonna be my main focus here. Only four of those though. And black and reds are my secondary colors. And uh, well, I guess we'll pick whatever for the remaining ones. He kicked out. That doesn't help a headache. Ah, oh, he took my green. Uh, well, again, we can't do anything. It's effective, but I... I'm not a huge fan of this spec so far. I'm sure there's much better. And you can get... Well, and there's zero green. No, there's one green on the board. Leo's submission does a lot of damage, though. Almost did it on its own. That. This will finish its health. Now we do need a pin. It's going to get us a pin, but it's going to give us our finisher for next turn. left <laughs> All right, so this definitely works but it does have cycling issues uh, I'm sure we can find something better I saw some better moves so let's have a look at that all right second move set here gonna be a triple color i'm normally not a huge fan of triple color so we'll see how this one turns out it's gonna be the german suplex three mp black move deal 81.2k damage and choose 11 gems to make into immobile gems the suplex city 5 mp red move deal 75k damage and choose five gems to make into green gems and we're gonna keep the alabama slam the five star move 5 MP green move deal 51.6k damage plus 16.2k bonus damage for every immobile gem. Now the one thing I can already foresee with this is that it's going to rely on you getting lucky with that board. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, we're going to use Butch as a trainer so that the red move start with 4 more MP. We're going to use Paul Orndorff so that we're going to create 4 more immobile gems. We're going to put Eddie to create 3 more immobile and have them do 50% more damage. And so does the move. And Ogan also making 1 extra green right there. And uh, immobile doing 50% more. We'll see this. We're going to keep going versus Brett. Um, all right, that's actually not a bad board. OK, 
Okay. And we're gonna need some black. Uh, not some black, some green. Let's see if we can get lucky and stay on our turn. We got screwed because there was another black that popped up, got dropped from there. <laughs> that didn't work out, but we'll make it work. Now we almost have the old board that is black that is uh, with those immobile gems now. So I'm curious to see how much that's going to do. I can catch it. 1.16 million. That ain't too bad. Uh, we do have more green here, which we're going to take. We'll be able to do it twice, probably. Uh, can I get no I can't get two greens the uh, two blacks I'll get it here I don't really want to risk it he doesn't have any health like i could go like and do just a single match there and get my my green move to do it again but he doesn't have any health at this point we just won the win so that, that kind of turned out better than i thought it would really and depending on if you can cycle that getting the, your black and you can put more on the board but i mean i already have almost all the board there i mean the moves are pretty damn cheap to begin with so I definitely like this better than the other one. Let's uh, let's try to figure out something else. I I know there's more. All right, now we're gonna have a look at a similar spec with a pretty different purpose. So we're gonna keep the German suplex. We're gonna keep the suplex city, but we're gonna replace the Alabama Slam with the F5, which is a 10 MP green move. Finisher deals 161.2k and choose 16 immobile gem to destroy and pin the opponent. And for that, we're going to be using the very same trainers, which are Orndorf, Eddie, and uh, Ogin, and we use Butch as well. Let's see how this one turns out. All right, so we're going to start this off. We're going to put our immobile gems on the board. We're going to target the greens, the reds, and the black. Making sure we got a good amount of each of them. One, two, three, that. Am I missing? I only need three blacks, really. I do need five red in it. And the rest, let's put in. Okay, now I need to make some green so I can actually use that move. Probably should have left this one alone. Almost got unlucky there. And now we're going to pick 16 immobile to uh, destroy. Uh, I do need to get three blacks. Actually, since it's going to end my turn, I need two blacks and I need one red. Those are my 
two black, that's my red. This is gonna drop down there. And the rest I can go for damage, which is obviously gonna be reds, blacks, and greens. Actually, I can pretty much destroy all that there is left, really. With my vision, this is not optimal for me right now. I missed one. Oh, I can't see for shit, so... Alright, we are one short for green. Not a huge fan of this playstyle, if you can't tell. Some of those that I'll be destroying that are not green into green. I'll let this one because I don't want it to cascade. I do need my four. Okay. Okay, let's put on other stuff now. The remaining red and black I'm going to need to break. I need the four reds. I need the black. And the rest I need... All the greens I can. Remember? Can't see. Oh, I need to be over there. It does a decent amount of damage, but it does feel kind of underwhelming compared to everything else. I can use this just to put it on better targets or gems that will do more damage. I'm gonna keep the four reds because I do need those, although I can convert three of the of the black. Didn't want to break anything, but I guess I didn't see it. I think that's all.
ready. The reason I picked those is because I'm going to try to make a bunch of cascades here. Good. There we go, that worked out how I wanted it. Alright, again, pretty effective, barely lost any health, completely whooped his ass, but I don't like it. Let's look for something else. All right, another move set, which I don't even know. I think it's the fourth one. I kind of lost track. I'm saving the the best for last, and this one's not the last. <laughs> I think also. So this one's gonna be the German suplex three MP black move. Deal 81.2k damage, and choose 11 gems to make into Emobile gem. The belly to back suplex, 7 MP black move, deal 81.2k damage and make 20 immobile gems into red gems. And a mag the back body drop, 7 MP red move, deal 75k damage and make 10 random gems into black gems. This should definitely recycle really well, although it is very prone to early pins. So we'll see if that goes. Trainers almost... Again, the same because it always relies on Immobile Gem. So we keep Eddie and Ogan, Orndorf as well, but we replace the trainer for Bray. You could technically use Sting or Butch too, but kind of better with Bray because you get to use those two moves here. So we'll try that and we'll see if we can be lucky and not get the too many Cascades. All right, so we're gonna set up those 18 immobiles so that they connect with reds. Something like that. I just need one more. Let's put it here. So this is obviously going to cause a pin. I clearly messed that one up. Again, I can barely see, so I clearly missed one. <laughs> That was supposed to be all lines, but whatever. All right, now the pin bar is pretty far right now, so we're looking good. We're gonna be making uh, 11 black. The problem is that they're 11 random black. I pretty much need like one or... How many? I pretty much need one match and we'll be good. But if we get too many matches, we might get a cascade and it's not gonna be our turn anymore. All right, we're good. Still our turn. Now, let's not be fancy since I can barely see to begin with. Let's just connect them naturally. previous one or maybe I misclicked I 
almost got enough black to do it again on the next turn right away. It? Yeah, whatever. Let's. Uh, I know, I'm not gonna have enough anyway because I made 21, so let's not risk it. Let's just get her black. We got lucky again. This is the part I don't like about this because, I mean, you can definitely get unlucky and it's not gonna be your turn again. Managed to get enough black so I can do that right away instead of risking the red ending my turn. Oh wow. again. One, two, three. Oh shit, he didn't kick out. Alright. And again, another move set that works perfectly well, but a little too random on my taste. I think I got something much better that I kept for last, so let's have a look at that. All right, last move set for Brock. The one I think is gonna be my my favorite one. It's gonna be the F5, 10 MP green move. Finisher deals 161.2K damage to 16 Immobile Gem and destroy and pin the opponent. The Kimura Lock, 8 MP green move. Submission, generate 44 random submission gems and do 126k damage for six turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into immobile gem. The suplex city is a five MP red move, deal 75k damage and choose five gem gems to make into green gems. Now obviously this is gonna be all about the submission. As such, we're gonna be running Butch to start with more red. We're going to be running Trick Brace, so that submission lasts three more turns. You could go instead with uh, Tech Angle or uh, 316 Austin to increase the damage per turn, but leave it at seven turns. Uh, the reason I went with uh, uh, Bray is because I used a calculator, really. <laughs> Doing three more turns actually... Uh, gives you about 200k more damage than doing seven turn at 50% more So I calculated it. It's about 1.9 million for seven turn with uh, with uh, Angle or Austin and it's 2.1 million using Bray for 10 turns uh, we do have uh, uh, Not Bray but Bruno here so that the green submission do 50% more and last one more turn which is why it's 10 turn. And I did add a Shelton Acrobat here so that the submission does 20% more damage per turn. 
Uh, you could have gone with Ogin too. Uh, if you went with Ogin, uh, you would make a sixth green gem, which I don't think we're gonna need. And those immobile would do 50% more damage, which is kind of nice though. But I kind of I kind of wanted to go all in on the sub. And there's another one you could have used to boost the sub, which I don't remember who it is. Uh yeah, Jay Uso here, green submission do 10% more, and green move do 10% more damage. That ain't bad too, especially when you consider that the finisher is 161. That 10% is kind of nice there too. But yeah, I'd rather go with Shelton and that 20% right there. And this move set actually requires much more attainable uh, trainers too, because pretty much all the other moves said they needed Ogun and Eddie, two characters that are like insanely hard to get to begin with. Bruno and uh, Acro Shelton, much more common. Alright, let's try this. All right, so how many green do I need? I need six green. This should be enough. We might get screwed if we get a uh, if we get a cascade. Well, let's hope we don't. Perfect. Now we're gonna land the submission. This will do 2.1 million damage. If it lasts all 10 turns, but I mean, good luck getting rid of all those. He's still getting rid of a lot of them though. There's not gonna be left, and there's not gonna be a lot left. Like, there's not even one green left. At least we got reds though. So we'll be able to get our move, although we would have added next turn anyway. So look at that elt that like completely evaporated. Plus it took out all his MP2. I got pretty much select all of them. Should be able to get out of that. It's not a lot of damage. Okay, he almost did not. That was surprising. Okay. <laughs> right now I need eight. I need two matches. We're going to play this very safe. And we'll take him at the top. We were pretty far as far as the pin bar goes, so we were going to be fine. So he has 1.1 million left. He is dead. Unless he gets an insane cascade. No, we just got the spoiler that we won the match. <laughs> I mean, it's 214,000 every turn for 10 turns. I mean, is that insane or what? And that's it. I knew this was going to be my favorite one. I I looked at it on paper and I was like, yeah, that's the one. All right, so that is pretty much it for Brock. I would say that he's definitely top tier. I mean, that submission build is insane. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. And yeah, and share. And uh, I'm going to go rest a bit. See ya. G out. Ciao.